Hello, welcome back to Dredge. Not to be confused with Drench. This is a game where you fish and you discover that fish are sometimes made of rot. And also, cosmic horror. So if you didn't watch this last time, I will say that this ended up being an extremely addictive and wonderful experience for me. And uh, I've been looking forward to playing more of it. Hope everyone's doing well. I have some good news in regards to my headset, which is I got the ear pads that I said I was going to get, and they have, I would say, not fixed the issue completely, but 50 to 60% better. I have new ear pads that are like um, memory foam and like velour, they're like cloth. And yeah, they're, they are pretty, they're more open than my previous ones, which means that I... I guess... I would say that... just being able to hear my own voice in my head with a little less bass has been extremely helpful. So, I actually am not gonna trip up on my words as much now because I, I feel like this is closer to my old setup. Which I had, like, velour... um, ear pads last time as well that were replacements. My next thing is I'm going to be working on the audio quality, so I'm going to be watching my videos a little bit and trying to find out how to, um, you know, I think I'm overcompressed to start. My voice has definitely always been overcompressed, so I want to try to lessen that a little bit. I might even be able to get rid of the delay entirely. Because XSplit has a VST feature, it just doesn't use the VSTs I use, so I'd have to change out a little bit. But anyway, for the non-audio people out there, I'll just say that... I'm working on... This new headset is wonderful. The new ear pads are so comfortable. It's sturdily made. I like the mic. I know some people may have to get used to it. Um, I think it's pretty close, but I can get it even closer and even better. So it's just gonna take a little time. Now I have to try to remember. Some of the stuff I was doing. Last thing I'll say about the headset is, um... You know, some of the P's, like some of the tss, all that, like there's no, f um... This doesn't come with a pop filter, or like a... Foam? Foam piece? The guy at Audio Technica was like, we don't feel you even really need it. I may need it. So I might at some point look into that. But um, at the moment, I would just say this. If you are, you know, like really, if you're an audiophile, if you know this stuff really well, and you're hearing stuff that doesn't sound overly pleasant, just drop me a line at vinesauce.email and let me know if what you think I could do to get audio quality better if you think that the S's and T's are not so great. I do think, because I have a downward expander, which is cuts out background noise, that might be a little intense. So I'm going to look into maybe figuring out like a different VST. So again, definitely open to various suggestions, and uh, if you have any um, particularly good advice, definitely let me know. Oh, I should have repaired that earlier. No, this is now just go back and forth the game, but we'll we'll get there. But yeah, um, I, I, can't, I can't tell you how much of a relief it is to get these new ear pads and actually be able to hear myself, like, pretty clearly with a little less bass. It's all about, like, these are not open. 
by any means, but I hear more of myself, my actual, like, human self. And it's just... It's, ex it's amazing how much a different difference an ear pad makes. That's what I would say. Huh. Alright, now we can continue dredge. Catch a snake mackerel, catch rare fish, collect all samples. Right, so we're going back to that spot. Right. There's also, I remember there being like weird things that I need to give some different fish to, including like a crab statue. I just love that there's no loading time there. So we're going south west. I ended up watching the new M. Night Shyamalan a Ding Dong movie, just for whatever reason. I think it was a knock at the cabin or something. Uh... It was weirdly pretty good. I think the performances carried the movie. And... It was a little different from the stuff that I remember him being terrible at. And I, I have to say I enjoyed it more than I expected. Batista is like the best performance in the movie. He's just like, doing all the heavy lifting, and he is actually quite good. But, yeah, interesting concept. I don't want to spoil it. It's a horror movie, kind of, and it has, um... There's some falutinality going on in there, but I don't mind it so much. And it does have you questioning the whole movie, whether or not something is actually real. But to me, the thing that, that really uh, won me over were the performances. That was like... Oh. That was easily the most engaging part of the film. Get out of here. Boy, we're, we're already here with low sanity and at night, so don't want to be here too long. This is not, uh, gonna be a three-hour-long video because I, I actually have some place to be. I have to be at the studio, so I'm gonna go leave in a bit. Not in a bit. I can, I can do like two hours. I mean, you already see the video length. I don't need to tell you how long it's been. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. That would be nice to have. That would be very nice to have. Look at that. Ah. 
So we need Aurora Jellyfish, Glowing Octopus, Firefly Squid. I also need someone who can upgrade my, uh, my ship. I've been seeing- so this game just came out. I thought it was out when I last played it. Uh, turns out it, it wasn't. So imagine how dumb I felt after that. Only a little dumb, but regardless, uh, it's, it should be out. It, it is out by the time you're watching this, and it seems like people have been enjoying the game, which it is um, an enjoyable game for me, so I hope other people are, are getting something out of it like I am. Oh, it's these. Oh, I don't have the right equipment. These fucking noises. <laughs> An old generator sputters and ticks over. The laboratory is in ruins, with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Oh, I hear some crispiness, maybe. Um, open the cupboards. Oh, I'll take that. Equipment on the table. There's prototype parts, but you can't see any use for them. And, uh, on the other side of the table, you find a hastily- hastily scrawled note. It reads, Not safe. Expect retaliation imminently. Evacuating to fort. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes as you soon- as you follow them along to the walls. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. I might have enough research to get that other fishing thing now. Which, I would prefer that than to get the incremental. I think I kind of want the one that can do the four. Versatile rod. Hell yeah. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. The only thing I can't do is oceanic, but I can... Yeah. Can't do that one yet. I'm not going into the center. Oh, fuck that. Hell no. Hell no. That right there is Thalassophobia incarnate. Absolutely the fuck not. And make no mistake, I do have a fair degree of philosophobia. I do not like the deep ocean. Unless it's in a video game. And I- you know what? Not even in a video game. Because I don't even want to go near that. Okay, this one... We needed one of those for the research. Let's 
should be enough. Oh. Well, that's bad. to maybe sell a couple more things for that extra money. I could probably just do some fishing here, but yeah, I definitely need that. How much is this? This this is 540. So that's 540. A uh, new hull would be good first. Maybe. Not sure. Because maybe this would increase the. Um... That's a tough choice. That's a tough choice. Because the fishing leads to more money. Then I could, you know, raise the money for the hull. A little quicker. could afford the hull, like, right now. Ooh. Barracuda. New music. Hmm. Huh. Sell these treasures a little more easily. They don't make it easy to sell these things, do they? Shipyard. You know... You know what I'm- you know... I'm going for the hull. Because we barely even have the fucking room. At the moment. Is the problem. So I'm gonna end up running into the same problem and not having hull space. Meanwhile, I could do a couple more fish and then I have even more room. Because I have all this extra scrap. Oh, that's 300. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Cargo space is definitely nice.
Ooh. Consumed grouper. Once dazzling skin, now bleached and eroded. It barely resists. Relieved at a final end. That's very disturbing. Thank you. I'm not fucking swimming over that until I absolutely need to. I mean, this stuff is always useful. Start bringing some stuff over here. Okay, the firefly squid. That one is, yeah, currently that's the one that rotted. So there's like a perfect one. Ooh, radiant squid. Which, uh, which Pokemon card pack was that in? I wonder. Oh, you got a radiant squid? Bro, you need the Zard. Only the Zard is... Oh, the Zard. Oh. That's all about Zards. I love Zards. <laughs> I say having chased Zards. I've been there. I've been there. Ooh. Spiny lobster. That, that's not a crab. That, 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 that's a little something different. Like, that's not a crab.
I just really appreciate this game's aesthetic. It's, it's just very easy to enjoy. Do a little more fishing here. Easy enough. A little bit more fishing, and I'll have enough to, to buy the, the thing. Blood snapper. Another one. The other thing I need is, I guess, close to the shore. Now I can buy my fishing rod. Uh. It's actually fairly quick to make a couple bucks in this game. Oh. Not too bad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, it looks like I'm gonna need... ...that. Yep. I did not... Okay. I didn't realize... ...that I wouldn't be able to even install this thing. Oh, I don't have... Some of the materials needed. Okay. Okay, looks like we're, we're holding off a little longer. May as well try to complete my research. Massive.
Not exactly what I need at this present moment, but throw it in storage and sell the shark. Oh. 234 dollars for that shark. Hell yeah. God? That's amazing. But I never want to see it again. I need some cannons. I need to be able to shoot it. Splish! Oh, here's a place I haven't been to. Clearly, I need explosives. Dog? There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally, it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is inefficient. In inefficient. Ineffective. You jump off the boat into the thigh high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Pet the dog! You two. Yaw! Oh, slowly approach. The dog backs a little ways. Throw some fish. The dog eats them along with a mouthful of sand. Pet the dog. It runs away nervously. After a few mo moments, it emerges again. Call the dog. You make a soft, encouraging noise, and the dog cautiously approaches, but it stops just out of your reach. Hold out some fish. Now we can pet the dog. Plus one point overall on Metacritic. It seems to understand you're not a threat. You pet the dog again, it seems to be enjoying it. You pet the dog again. You make your way back towards the boat. As you're waiting out, you hear the sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you. It tilts its head, questioning. You continue, this time with the dog alongside it. Its tail is wagging so hard. It beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn around and pull the dog on board. Dog is just an inventory item. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball, looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Uh, that's nice. I like dog. Per permanent dog home? I can do that. Confirmed you can pat the dog in Dredge. Confirmed. For that website that keeps track. What is going on here? That was amazing. Oh man, I just love that. I love ghost ships. It's a weird one.
Oh, man. Aurora jellyfish. Maybe the researcher uh, wants to adopt a dog. I mean, the dog can live on the ship, but it's dangerous out here. It's like the Enterprise in Star Trek, the next generation TV show. Remember that show? In that show, they have like children and families on board, even though they always are on the verge of some stupid thing that's going to blow up the ship. This dog needs a home. Do you want it? Dog, gosh, let me see. Dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks her chin and responds, You definitely take this off your hands and I'd love the company. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you. We're going to be such good friends. He could be my assistant. Suddenly the dog stands upright, begins to retch, its stomach heaving. What? Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob onto the floor? Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, that's, uh, interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. Uh huh. Gross. That's fucking disgusting. Still haven't found the jellyfish. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. <sighs> I knew it. I knew it! No, stop! Oh my god. Holy shit, I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm gonna get the explosive from my inventory and head over to the village.
I know there's a scummy one here somewhere. There it is. See you. Not happening, friend. It's not happening. metal for the hull and a potential shortcut those aren't jellyfish I think they're coastal. I just haven't seen... I, you know, I might have. Maybe you... The chat. Pre-recorded chat. Has seen. But I have not. is going on over here. large, powerful fish, so I need... That's gotta be the shark shrine. So I'll leave that one there. I know there was other sharks that had that shape. I'm just not so sure about that top one. That looked like a squid. Maybe it's just a matter of finding a way to make them all fit. Could that shape match that of, of squib? Kind of just look like that shape. Nope. Uh. Nope. I only have one in here. And yeah, I need two. <sighs> New hull. It's gonna be a while before we can do that again.
think those are jellyfish anyway, so never mind that. Here we go. Come on, I need two of those things. Oh, components. But I still need two of the things, whatever they're called. Bolt of cloth, yes. Should be one more. Yeah. I mean, it's not a jellyfish, but... Oh, I, it'll do. Definitely will do. I don't know, those red jellyfish kind of seem like maybe something I have to catch, but I'm not sure. They just kind of explode and give you rot. But maybe a net? Which I still have not unlocked nets, but I'm gonna do that now, I think. The, like, controller rumble in this game is amazing. Just on a side note. Just the, the right amount of... Hmm, the right amount of... Like, feedback, but also... Scaring the shit out of you. Aurora Borealis. Yes. Deep vision enters your mind. The green glimmer of an aurora blooms in the night sky above the resort. Distant boom shakes the thatched roofs and how and rouses dreamers from their sleep. The waters withdraw, exposing the coral to the warm air. Confused creatures chitter and seek out their hiding places. Moments later, the waters return, crashing, seething, sweeping souls out to the sea. Good upgrades. Extra hull. Uh, we don't have scrap.
Yeah, so it's gonna be a little while before we can get that next big upgrade, but... At least we got that stuff. This is coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. All right, great. This is oceanic, so we need that. Three fifteen for these lights. Basic trawl net. Oh, okay, that, that is a whole thing, isn't it? See if this is how you catch jellyfish. Yeah, these fucking things just explode. Oh. Okay. Got one. Got one. that a little bit. I guess we can do a research. We've got three. Fuel propeller system. This looks like the Millennium Falcon cockpit.
coastal, shallow, oceanic. Hmm. Just gonna hold off for a second. Let's let's return the research. And then figure out what to do with this giant thing. Got it. Looks like you've caught all the surface specimens I need, but uh, you do need some from deeper down, but that's going to be a problem. Well, I developed a device to retrieve samples from the Abyssal Zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creatures at bay long enough to collect these samples, but while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. I suggest you go during the day. Wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. this way. Catch fish while you're moving. Sheets of paper, equipment table, here we go, prototype parts. Okay, we got what we needed here. There you go. Here's a device. This should allow you to catch specimens much greater at, from much greater depth. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. Damn, storage is full. Developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking. Connect it to the research outpost generator. You'll have to re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. So we need anglerfish, snailfish, oh that's Hadel. Loose jaw, giant amphipod. This game really makes good on its premise. I want to sell some stuff over here. Eh, don't need any extra wood this second. Hey, 
it's nice when you play a demo for a game, and then the game ends up being better. When it comes out, and and not just like more of the same boring. Like I, I just I'm really enjoying these the experience of this game at the moment. Uh, I guess I could probably sell some of this old stuff. You know what? I'm gonna use these crabs at that crab shrine. Okay. Alright, I still need scrap. sell a thing. Resident Evil 4 Remake may have auto-sort, but this game is like... No. Okay. I think I remember where the crab thing was. Sure, is on the other side of the um. Oh, of course, I need to sleep. I'm pretty sure it was on the other side of the bottom right island. Check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> I just I can't not say it now. All friends. But yeah, I figure why not? Now that I have all these um all these crab, I should bring it to the shrine. I'm just calling it a crab shrine. I don't know what the fuck it actually is, but... That works for me. I was here already. It still has a, a sparkle to it. So that confused me a little bit. I'm like, oh, there's more? No. Doesn't seem to be.
I think it was actually on the outside of the island and not in one of the, the caves. Uh, I'll also stop for scrap. There we go. I have no room for scrap. Probably want to come back here. This one? Hmm. Huh. huh. Well. Yeah, everything rotted. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mercy, mercy me. I, I suppose I, I should have seen that coming, but I just didn't know how long the rot would take. I'm not sure if there's a uh, storage area here. I don't think there is, if I remember correctly from earlier. No, there's research, but no storage. Well, that sucks. Though, while I'm here, I'm just gonna get all this. Oh, you are a fuck. I'm lucky it only got the engine and not any of my scrap. This is my current movement speed. I have no working engines. Oh my god. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Oh, storage is full. Yeah. Okay.
I'll get the jet drive engine. Just to also free up some room, because I didn't realize how much, like, research I can do now. This is going to take a while. That's not even real. That thing in the distance there, that's that's not even real. That's not there. Gone. See? Mental. Wow, even the extra speed doesn't do a goddamn thing. Alright. Curl up with a good book, everybody. This is insane. <laughs> it, it actually... Like, str that thing strategically... Strategically... Got both of my engines. What an absolute fuck. Meanwhile, everyone's complaining about the Mario 64 eel. It's like, no, 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 no. There's a much worse eel. This is just insane. I think I'm getting a little boost from this. My fucking crabs rotted. My engines were completely destroyed. enough scrap for this and we'll start working on the new hull as well I think I might actually have enough to do this I won't have enough money, but sell some stuff. Well, we're, yeah, we're pretty much right on the precipice of a new upgrade here. Amazing. That clears out a lot of inventory room, too. So that's nine additional cargo spaces. Let's do it. I'm just going to sell the crabs. So these curved fish, I'm going to try to put them in their, sh their proper shrine. I want to see if that works.
It's gonna sell like one more thing. Uh, I think it was eight. Actually, never mind. I think it was eight hundred. Yeah, it's eight hundred. fish to rot. Eight hundred. Ooh, nice new look too. All that new room is just absolutely perfect. Wait, did this come with a speed upgrade as well? Curved fish. Cold fish. I think it's just any curved fish. You just have to figure out how to get them in here. These fish curved. They just arrive. Aquifar. Grieving father. Oh, never mind. Uh. Just looking for some curved fish. Here we go. I know they're there. I need to just uh, sell.
Oops. I sold all fish. Here's the new jet engine. I think I just need three. Three of them curved fish. And again, if this works, then it's good to know because it means I could just get any shark and any crab and fit them in there. Volta grouper? An unknown green energy arcs and crackles over the fish's scales. It thrashes ceaselessly, even hours after being pulled from the water. Ship. Ghost ship. Holy shit, that's fast. God damn it. <laughs> uh, Alright. Oh, I only needed two. Wave washes over the fish, sweeping them away. When the water recedes, you notice something is lodged against the rock. Sinew spindle. Coastal and shallow. Oh, it would be good to do that with sharks. Yeah. Because then I would get like an ocean, um, thing. Like a good one. Probably one that takes up less room. fish. Mayor appears in front of the dock. His face swims before your eyes. Words blur with the waves crashing around you. Are you 
okay. If you see fog shapes, rest careful. Oh. Modifies one cargo space to also hold lights. Oh yeah, more lights. Gonna need much more scrap for this, but we can just start offloading some materials. Just free up room and storage. I didn't realize how close I was to running out of storage earlier. think of what would be a useful thing to do here. I'm gonna get some sharks. There's one. I need one more like that. And then uh, I'm just gonna keep looking for sharks. Man, we're fucking fast now. So we got these sharks I could use. Um, I need a Maybe a smaller shark? I know I'm like delaying missions a little bit, but I think this would... This is equally as fun for me. And yeah, I do feel like this benefits the overall experience at some point. Ooh, this one's all fucked up. Uh-oh. 
Curious looking chest is half submerged in the sand. Oh, scrap of paper. Treasure map, perhaps? Yeah, we gotta put together a map. Uh, no room for the wood at the moment. I don't want my fish to, like, rot before I can get them there, but I also desperately need to drop stuff off and rest for a bit. <sighs> Do that. Good enough. Another hammerhead. How did I not see any of this before? enough for the full map now. I knew it, and still I got close to it. I just don't quite remember where the shark thing was. Okay, well. Uh, feel like I've done a full lap. There. Where is this on the map? Right there, okay. Dredge Shark Shrine. Eastern end of a little island on coordinates H2. Uh, 
that these things are, are rotting and probably it might be a little too late. I thought they were just on the main island, around back like the other ones, but no. Made it. Just in time. Okay, that's that's later. I just looked it up. And yeah, that's that's way later. So instead of going to a new area just to do the thing, I'll just be aware that it exists and I know when I see it, I know where to go, I know what to do with it. But um yeah, I'm not going to not going to go there now. And the shark has turned to a small pile of mush. Kind of looks like a fish facing up. Um, I don't see anything. Oh, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Okay, that's south. Looks like it's just west of here. Whatever it is. Ah, 
Something just beneath the surface of the water is a floating chest held down by a chain that disappears into the deep. Oh no shit! That's awesome. I feel like people that really liked Wind Waker would get a lot out of this game. Okay, so we gotta go to the research outpost. install this device. And get that too. The researcher said that this should keep the creature at bay for a time. I guess that's... Yep, we're gonna need that. So, I don't even know how much of this... Yeah, we don't even have the right stuff. We've got a Bizzle, not Hadel. Before we can do this, we need we need some upgrades. What happened to all those abyssal spots anyway? I think this is one. Yep.
You want to install and activate the machine. You might also need to improve the equipment, yeah. Well, two of them we can catch currently. Where's them anglerfish? Let's see if I can upgrade this now. Mm. Alright, shipyard. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one's also oceanic. Abyssal Hadal Oceanic. Fuck that, I'm gonna get that instead. I don't think I'll be able to afford it. No, it's 675. Not quite there yet, but that is good to know. But soon I'll be able to do all three. Okay, like I said, I don't really have much time, so I'm gonna sell my treasures. Uh... I'm going to try to just do a little bit of fishing, sell my treasures. I know I saw a ton of anglerfish. down here somewhere. Inside its eye, a perpetual pattern repeats. Red cyclones meld through shimmering green swirls. The abyss burns through you. This is a barrel eye.
I think it's worth it <clears throat> to get the scrap. No! Fucking birds? I wonder if there's a way to upgrade this to make some of these things go faster. I didn't see the option. This should definitely be enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was that was perfect. Okay, that's the last thing I'll do is I'll install that new thing. Fathomless winch. I don't think I can sell that. I can discard it, but I can't sell it. Same for another uh, number of other things that I have here. I guess with the fathomless winch, I don't need the ocean one anymore. Sell that. out of storage. Okay. Uh, hmm. Could buy the new light. New light installed, old light sold. Sell some of these things I don't need. This sinew spindle I just got, I almost don't want to sell it because it's cool. 
but you can get that real early if you know what you're doing. Like, you can start the game and get that in the first 15 minutes of gameplay, even less, probably. I could see that being very useful in saving money. I got no research points. Do I have this engine? No, twin prop engine. This will be the next line, or I could just skip str- no, I can't. Alright, never mind. So, I have to do twin prop, and then I can get that. Um... I guess the one good thing is jet drive. What's this one again? This is coastal, shallow, oceanic. The only thing I wouldn't have is mangrove if I got that. And volcanic, coastal. No, this, I mean... The fishing speed is really good, but between this and this, I can basically get everything now. Like, there, even though if the speed isn't quite as good, I have access to every potential fishing. So, the next thing I want to work on is engines. I mean, the nets are cool too, but I'm not really using them. Get another jet drive engine. So this is three spaces, and that's 26.3. So if I were to do one of these in each space, that would be a little bit more speed, but not worth it. If I really wanted more speed, I'd have to get that next engine upgrade. Which is to say... 36.8 or 4. But even this little extra bit of speed is noticeable and pretty damn good, so... Alright. Thank you for watching, Dredge. This has quickly become one of my favorite games on Steam currently. And I just really like it, so I'm glad you're watching. Glad you're watching? What the fuck? Why did I say that? Glad you're watching, everyone! But no. Good series for me. I'm enjoying this very much, and uh, I would recommend this game to anyone who's into, like, Wind Waker. Having, like, a bit of an open-world feel to it, and good Eldritch horror. So, that is Dredge. Thank you. Take care. See you when I see you. We will dredge the ocean even further next time. And let me know if you have any audio suggestions, like I said. Leave a, leave a comment or vinesauce.email and fill out the form. Goodbye for now. Hello.